What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to uh, get more fuel going through the factory uh, sending unit in the 2G Eclipse. I'm gonna show you guys an alternative solution to purchasing uh, an expensive new sending unit that goes in the fuel tank uh, with just a couple of cheap parts you can get online and uh, shouldn't take, it's not very complicated to do and it shouldn't take much time at all uh, and save you guys some money. Let's roll. All right guys, so the first step is gonna be to remove uh, the sending unit. Um, obviously in this car, uh, the back seat's already gone so uh, all I really have to do is just literally pull the unit. Um, but when when you get the back seat off, there's gonna be a cover on top of here, uh, on top of the where the fuel pump is. Um, so you're gonna want to take that off, obviously. And uh, when you get that off, uh, there's gonna be three hoses going to the sending unit. If your car is a GSX, uh, which I think this, well, it should work for for the GST, but I think the GST's, uh, the sending unit's plastic. So uh, you're gonna have to work with plastic instead of metal in my case. Um, and then once you get that off, uh, this cover, you're gonna pull the three hoses off um, and disconnect the connector uh, going to the pump and then unscrew the whole sending unit, which is this big uh, plastic nut around it with a bunch of ridges that you can uh, use to turn it. So, um, let's go. Better job. Okay, now that that is off, we got to pull that out. Okay, so that's out. Um, now, what you got to do is just wiggle the pump out of, here, out of there. Uh, wiggle the sending unit, I mean, uh, out of this, out of the fuel tank. And guys, don't mind the, the hack job wiring here. Um, this car was converted from uh, a, a front wheel drive, so uh, I still gotta finish this up. Uh, the reason that it's not finished is because I'm not 100% sure how to uh, wire everything in and to get my fuel gauge to work. So bear with me here. Uh, I'm gonna maybe try to clean this up today if I have time. All right guys, so here's my sending unit. Um, now I already have the Walbro 450 fuel pump on here. So that's all done. Um, the only thing is, like I said, this, this one fitting uh, is leaking some gas through. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, fix that up. So in order to take it to remove the fuel pump, uh, you're gonna have to unscrew this uh, Phillips head screw. Um, and that will drop this uh, fuel pump holder. Uh, that'll take it off and then the fuel pump will be loose, so you'll be able to unscrew the hoses over here and uh, pull that down, remove it. And then you're gonna have to drill a hole where the original sending uh, pipe was. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get this fuel pump off. Now the pump is off and I can unscrew this bulkhead fitting. So, if you didn't already have a hole drilled, um, this is where you would drill the hole. Um, That's where the factory uh, pipe comes out. So just drill out a hole. So these bulkhead fittings give you a 3 8 um, ID for the sender versus the factory. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a quarter or whatever, but this, the bigger the better, obviously. More fuel means happier car, pretty much. <laughs> So originally it comes looking like this pretty much, just without the black 90 degree. Um, and they give you these nylon um, gaskets, which I thought would hold, but apparently they don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put some RTV on the gaskets and hopefully that will hold. All right, now that that's done, next step is just to put the fuel pump back on and put it back in the car. These are a pain in the butt to get back into the car. I don't know why this rubber seals are like 
very difficult for some reason. But I believe in us. All right guys, so there it is. Um, uh, just to uh, be clear, uh, I'm gonna run through the, the steps again. So step one is gonna be to remove the whole sending unit um, out, of your, out of your fuel tank, uh, which includes removing the seat, uh, which I, I don't, I can't show you guys because I didn't have the seat in my car for now. Um, step two is gonna be to take the fuel pump off of the sender. Step three is going to be to uh, install that bulb head fitting, which uh, I will link in the description below, uh, which includes uh, drilling the original uh, sending port and uh, obviously installing that one. Uh, like I said, I would use some RTV or something like that. I'm not sure what the best thing to use for fuel is. Uh, I just went with RTV because that's what I had. Uh, I think it should hold. Um, uh, and then step four is going to be to install your fuel pump back onto the sender. Uh, obviously, get new hoses, whatever you need to get uh, to get that to work. Uh, I just needed a little piece of uh, 5 16 hose and some uh, hose pumps. Um, and then step five is going to be to install the uh, sending unit back into the car. Um, step six is going to be go out and have a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. Um, I mean, this is a pretty standard, uh, pretty easy mod to do. I'm sure many of you have done it. Um, if you haven't, this is how you do it. Um, and if you have, thank you still for watching. Uh, have a good day, and see you in the next video. Peace.